Today, we have a first look and review of the Nike Zoom Terra Kyger 5. I really like the silhouette um, from the narrow toe box to the, the pointed heel. Especially on these, um, it's more subtle. I know some of Nike's other running shoes recently that have this pointed heel. I mean, it's enormous and it looks kind of dumb, but on these, I think it's, it's just subtle enough to be uh, a nice design feature. Moving on to the outsole, we have a lugged pattern for hiking, um, as these are outdoor runners. Um, at the front of the shoe, it has sticky rubber, and on the heel, there's some uh, high abrasion rubber. Um, and you can definitely feel the difference. And in the middle, there's a uh, sticky plate. And so just first impressions, to be honest, I'm kind of worried about the durability of the, the forefoot rubber. Um, it seems a little soft. The area is a little flexible because of that React midsole as well. So I just see it maybe wearing down. Um, I know as, as I'm bending this, a lot of the flex is due to the midsole, but um, it just shows how soft the rubber is. Um, and again, the back, uh, I'm not as worried about because it's made of the high abrasion rubber. And these holes, um, it is not zoom. I know zoom sometimes looks like that where you can see it from the outsole, but um, this is just white and gray uh, pieces of foam under the, the outsole. Same with on the back. This is just gray foam, uh, but it does have a zoom unit in the heel. Um, and I don't know what this plus four means. But one complaint I did read about was the fin tongue. Um, it's just a piece of fabric with a tiny square of padding that doesn't really do much. But I thought it was okay. It didn't cause any issues for me. The lace pressure was okay and it wasn't really uncomfortable. I really like the laces. It's sort of like a speed lacing system where if you pull the top, um, it tightens consistently throughout the, uh, the laces and it doesn't just bunch up at the top. For the toe box, I really like the uh, slimness of the, the look, uh, but at the same time, it didn't feel like it was pressing or uh, like I didn't have enough room in, uh, for my toes. Uh, to me, it was perfect and also, also the width was really good, especially compared to past years. Uh, the wider toe box just makes it easier for um, when you know when you're kind of taking steps or hiking your toes can spread out a little step in comfort is amazing you can definitely feel the softness of the react compared to past years with the the phylon i really like the ankle padding it's just enough to draw your heel in um, so my complaint with some shoes is that if there's not enough obviously it's you know it's not comfortable but Sometimes if there's too much padding, it'll almost push your heel forward in the shoe and so you don't, it doesn't feel like your heel is secured. So I thought this was the perfect blend and, uh, and Nike really nailed it. The heel tab is a nice to have, uh, especially because for me, I, I like slipping on my shoes and this shoe specifically with the booty construction and the thin tongue, um, it might be made to slip on, I'm not sure. And lastly, I mean, as good as a technical performer this is, I bought them because of the look. I, I really like this look, uh, especially this color. I like how the, the swoosh dips a little bit below the midsole. Um, I thought that was a cool touch. And the look might be a little bit too much of a runner to try to route casually, but you know what, I'm gonna try anyway, so who cares? The dual tone midsole and outsole is pretty cool. The little black fuse overlay on the, the toe I kind of wish it was olive green colored to sort of match with the rest of the upper, but uh, the black doesn't look okay. It just kind of stands out a little bit. Um, so overall, super happy with my purchase. I like the shoe from a technical standpoint. Um, I like it from a look standpoint. And this is the Nike Zoom Terra Kyger 5. These shoes fit true to size. Uh, I'm a 10 and a half in Nikes and these are a 10 and a half. And so as you can see, I have about half a finger's worth uh, in front of my toe, so it's a really good fit. And here's what the shoes look like on feet. 